Okay everyone, welcome back to part two of the scenario, Face of the Enemy. And we last left off when all of our units had just been dumped into a new room. Some of them on not great health, including Igor, Galas, Malkishar, and uh, Lady of Light herself. You know, no one who actually needs to survive, just the absolute most important characters. And our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to not die. Now this is going to be easier said than done. Uh, my plan is to advance on the left, try and push there, and uh, maintain a defense against the few drones who can reach me on the right. In fact, if I can push fast enough, maybe no one can reach me on the right. That would be great. Elinia though is in trouble, and uh, very badly needs to, to not get killed. Over here we've got a Chaos Razor Man who's got 82 hit points, crazily enough. So I'm just going to move the Spectre back a little bit. Now over the Chasm is nice, it's, it's a light area, not, not that, that helps her, uh, not that it helps the Spectre particularly. It uh, does mean if Elinia moves back here, This, spec this spirit can come all the way around here and do... Hopefully, yeah, reasonably decent amount of damage. I mean, that was the maximum damage. Um, and now it's time for Alinea to try and do some herself. Um, or is it? No, she can't get the kill like that. So then I should advance with Malkishar instead, bring him around here. He can get the kill as long as he gets more than as long as he gets four out of five hits. Which he doesn't, and that's nice actually, because I'd rather Elinia gets the opportunity to level up. Alright, now she just needs to kill someone quite powerful. I think um yeah. She needs she'd she'd now need to kill she still needs to kill a level four unit in order to level up, but she's she's a lot closer. To the level than she was. Galas, you're poisoned. Erathan. I mean, it feels like this this is really the way to go, is to push forward over here. And I don't actually... I think Erathan can survive getting poisoned as long as he doesn't get too badly whacked by all these other enemies who are coming up. Which he shouldn't, because I'm planning to eliminate them. Alright, not too feeble a performance. No enemies over there to speak of. So I can bring you in. Oh, I thought for a moment you weren't going to get the kill there. Ridonculus. Okay, now, now my priority is to try and kill... It would be good to kill the Marauder, but it would be even better if I could kill this Magus. Okay, now Galas should be up to the task. He just needs to do averagely. Which he does. Okay, good. can slow this drone. Do I even need to? Would it be better to do something else? How about these guys? How fast are they? Alright, well as long as Ledinor presses forward, it seems like these drones aren't going to be able to do much on this flank. So I'm only worried about the Iron Mauler. What about you, if you move? Yeah, okay, so the Iron Mauler can reach Ledinor. And so can the drone. Hmm. That's just a runner. Oh, that's a 
shame. Okay. I'm in a spot of bother here because this Magus is going to come in and try and take out one of my Spectres and in all likelihood with all these other units around will probably succeed. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Now here I can either cure Erethan or, and Galas or do something else. We'll do that. Okay, you're still you're still too slow, but you can get in on Ledinor. But you can come down here, because then you can get some healing. Alright, a little worried about Ledinor here, but he couldn't go any further on his poor little stumpy elven lord legs. I'm so lucky not to have lost anyone on that turn. All right, Ledinor is looking terrible. He's on four hit points and he's poisoned. Need to get him to safety. Need to get this Chaos Magus out of the way. Um, but this is all of this is looking a lot more promising now. Now that we've essentially got this battle under wraps to some extent, so I just need to make sure I'm a little bit careful who goes up front against these two. So first of all, you're looking badly wounded, Deathy, so I want you to eat the tree. Twenty instant hit points for you. Someone big and strong needs to take out Uruna of the Iron Mauler, and I think that's a job for Malkestar. <laughs> All right, that's the end of him. Hmm, strategies. We'll put Galas here, do some damage, and then Galas can hopefully tank. Tank what comes his way. Seems good. Alinea, you want to come all the way down here. Um, you want to do that? Well, it makes more sense for you to do it. Ah, uh, uh, pathetic. What is this? So no one could hit this guy. All right. So you, for, to do healing, you want to stand there, and then you don't come in range of the mage. So both of them, either both of them, can attack Gallus, or one of them can attack Gallus, and the other one. Can attack Elenia. If I bring you around to here, you'll be safe from anyone attacking you. Which means that I can. That doesn't make that much difference, but I can put. Okay, I can put Ledinor there. Still need to deal with this drone. You can't get around to the north. Good. Let's see if this works. Yeah, these forest spirits are really an excellent anti-drone unit. I can't believe the walkthrough speaks so badly of them, to be honest. They, um, I mean, they're powerful, they're tanky, they can fly over chasms. Um, they're basically spectres, but they do fire damage. And they don't have drain, which, oh man, these guys, if they had drain, that would be awesome. A um, little bit of salivating there. Never mind. 
you come out and scout a little bit just to check there aren't any bats hiding in the far reaches over here and you hop down a, uh, a tad so that you can see more stuff and my health is not looking fantastic but at least it doesn't look like there are too many threatening enemies around just have to hope that Alinea doesn't get killed which I think is unlikely but you know the random number generator is not always on my side I've got a good opportunity here to allow Alinea to get a big chunky kill. It's kind of the point where I wish where I wish I had a knight gaunt to do the backstab thing. And I wish Malkeshar wasn't so out of position. Oh well, it is what it is. Can you slow him? Yeah, that's perfect. Alright, now I'm hoping if you can get four hits, that would be ideal. Four out of five. It's not impossible. Ah, oh, not quite. Alright, so. Well, in a way, I'm not actually scared of you if you're slowed and on one health. You can do what you like. So, Galas, you go in here. That was terrible. Okay, well, at least you're slowed. Okay, that's quite bad. Um, this could this could bode this could end badly for Slashy. Alkesha, come round. Necromancer, go over here. You go over here. You also come round. Okay, that wasn't a great turn, but let's see what you can do with it. Okay, well, I did get a... Oh, oh, oh. I won't deny that my heart just uh, jumped in my chest a little bit. He is here! That's... A woman! The Warlord is actually a woman? Galas, the Elf Leader, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to meet you. It's too bad that the elven witch could not make it. She seemed too infatuated with self-sacrifice for that. Much like you. So, you are the monster who killed Anlinde. I shall make sure you meet your due punishment. And I am not planning on dying tonight. Alas, Lord of the Elves, there is no weapon nor magical power left on this ruined world able to destroy me. You will only waste the last minutes of your life. No, we will prevail. No matter how many times your kind tries, you cannot escape justice at our hands. You will be banished from Erdia all the same. Ah, the formidable Lady of Light. I am truthfully disappointed to see you are but a brash, ignorant creature just like the rest. You should be taught not to defy the power of your ire. You all appear to be under the misconception that your pitiful war will make a difference, but to her you are completely beneath notice. We have been kept distracted by more important matters, but since you decided to come to our domain in person, I suppose it rests upon me to put an end to this folly. The demoness unsheathed her sword and held it to the fore, glancing at the Lady of Light with murderous glee in her eyes, and just for one instant, Galas could read a hint of outrage and anguish on Alinea's face. 
Although he and Uriah had an interest in dealing with you personally, I fear that will not be possible, my dear. No, it is time for you to meet your fate. That was really the best possible timing because the triggering of the warlord appearing was when the last enemy unit died and on the enemy's turn. I don't know what that's normally like, but uh, got some good healing in there. And uh, now the only objective left is to defeat the Chaos Warlord. Um, I'm going to save here just because, well, I might reload if this goes too badly. Boss fights tend to be a tad unpredictable. Okay, um, we've got a terrifying range of awful attacks that this lady can uh, chuck at us. Uh, doesn't seem to be any other enemies around, so if I go in with Alinea, who's so close to a level now, now assuming she doesn't die, um, which she shouldn't, I mean only if Alinea gets all five attacks in and I don't get the slow, uh, yeah, then she should, she should get a, another after maximum level. Um, no, actually she could do it with four of the five attacks, mm, if I don't get a slow in, which I ought to. Okay, let's try it. Yes! Slowing here, which is absolutely essential in this context. Um, I could go for the thorns attack, which is, um, you know, I'm still not super impressed by that. So I'm going to go for shielding instead, give, give her some uh, boost against arcane. Alright, she's got 97 hit points, she's got um, amazing defences. Um, funnily enough, I thought she had better defence against arcane than that. Did she just lose it? Did she just lose arcane defence? Because I... Why is it so bad? Oh. I'm confused. Oh well, um, maybe she was weak against Arcane before, but in any case, now she isn't. Uh, now she's got minus 10 on that, um, so I guess I guess that's a good thing. Okay, so now the Warlord is pretty is reasonably weak. Uh, let's just check what abilities she has. Um, she's got Submerge, Regenerates, Leadership. Submerge is not relevant here. Regenerates is just annoying, but it won't, you know, won't prove a fatal issue, I think. Um, leadership, well, if she summons units, that could be irritating. For now, though, seems like a chill wave is what's needed from my uh, Necromancer. Only one hit, that's a shame. Now, the, the obvious next person to go in for this is Malkesh Shah. Uh, he could get quite badly battered, but not, to like, not, I think, to the point of being able to die. No, so if she goes for him next turn, she won't be able to drain, and um, she will be... She'll be wounded. Okay, um, now I've got this lady who can go in for melee attacks, can't be drained. Is she the best person for this or should I go in with Galas instead? Galas could do a lot more damage in principle but is much less likely to hit. And the drain damage on Galas would be higher. Since I can't kill this turn anyway, I'm going to go for this one. Now what I'm slightly... No, I, I can put Igor here. And I'm not going to attack, I'm just going to put him there. So that she can't summon too many enemy units. I, I would like to be able to get around to that final slot um, to fill it up so that no no summons are going to show up, but, uh, but I can't. So that's that. Alright, everyone really wants some more healing. I 
Ledinor definitely needs more healing. You stay back. You can go behind Elinia. One of you can reach behind Elinia as well. And I'm going to have to choose who doesn't get any healing this turn. Um, Gallus, just because you're so tanky, I would like you to get it. Kind of contrary logic, but there we go. And you can go back to full health. Um, and you actually, you could go and kill this tree for me. And that would regain you your health. There's another drone over there. Would that put you in range of the drone? No, it wouldn't. Unless there are more drones that are more powerful. This guy. This guy can get in if you if I do that. Otherwise he hasn't yet been aggroed. Okay, so it doesn't seem like a smart move. So you just come back. Okay. Honestly, that didn't seem like the smartest thing that Elissa, the Chaos Warlord, could have done at that particular moment in time. And now, trying to get the slow again. Well, that was good. She's now on 25 hit points. Uh, before things wrap up, I'm going to try and kill this Fire Guardian. Uh, and down goes the fire guardian. All right, now who needs the kill? Who's who's gonna who's gonna benefit most from uh, forty experience points? Melkashar is not a bad bet, but then equally it would be pretty cool to do it with uh, with Ledinor. Um, not sure I can. What happens if you step back? No, it doesn't seem likely. I mean, he could get killed in return if I use the magical one. Alright, that was poor. That was very poor. I was kind of hoping for one more hit, then I could really get the kill with Ledinor, but uh, um, right now it would be crazy to do that. Okay, now she really is looking weak. Step back. Actually, step down to be healed, but not yet, so we can we can look at that. All right, you go, Ledinor. Now she can't. Now she's for some reason switched to an attack that can't kill you, so that's good. All right, one hit. One hit is all we need. I did warn you. You cannot destroy me. Galas, you know that normally I would approve of sticking around to enact some kind of revenge, but the harsh reality of the situation is... Everyone, cover your eyes. What is this? D do you really think such a cheap trick is going to stop me? He seems disoriented. Is this what we're doing now, Alinea? Fleeing from the enemy like cowards? We're not fleeing from her. We're just advancing to a more tactically advantageous position. Malkeshar, take care of the enchantment shielding the gates. Okay, so now the objective is to destroy the exit gate using Malkeshar before the Chaos Warlord regains her sight. Seven turns remaining. Um, and she can't see, interestingly, but does that mean she can't fight? Seven turns. Um, it's not long. All right, let's see what happens. Doesn't seem worth attacking her again. She has been slowed. So Malkesha, I guess, ought to just start off heading down this way. Uh, 
I'm going to move some other people down this way too to help out. And now I am going to go and kill this tree. Because I'm going to need to get these units out of the way. And if baiting them is the way, then so be it. You come down here. Galas, you too. I'm going to plonk you there, just in case she was planning to to hire any more units. Okay, so not not being able to see is um, clearly not much of an impediment for for this lady. Six turns left. Run, Mal, run. You're going to get droned, that's fine. Oh, maybe I can even block that. Alright, now Erethan or Blady will take the drone hit. But there is a Doom Guardian over here. No, sorry, it's a Hell Guardian. I uh, apologise, my uh, nomenclature is apparently subpar. Alright, if she's blind, then everyone just run. Especially you, Ledinor. You can't quite get far enough. Yeah, it looks like she's stuck on her castle. Well, that's cool. I need to bust out of here. Can you come and attack the drone already? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Ah, that's why not. Okay. So there's a sentry drone up there, which will also come out. That's fine. I'll just let it do that. If it wants to, it can come down and attack this one. My units aren't too far behind. I'll try like this. Ah, shit. She's summoning units. That's not peak performance there from Blady the Spectre. You could have got a few more hits in there. Oh, and a... And, oh, crud! Ah, yeah, I guess this was the turn. I guess it's just very bad timing. <laughs> So everyone get around this corner, especially you, Ledinor. I do not want you getting beaten down. Okay, you can't go any further than that, so you go there. And people who are tougher will have to tank the damage. Um, you're tough, Necromancer. Um, a lot of people here who do cold damage and fire damage. I mean, it's hard to see how anyone's going to survive an onslaught of all these units next turn. Well, at least some of them aren't very fast. But I think the Spectre will die if it doesn't get through. Oh, 
I feel like Ereri the, the Necromancer is the person who... If anyone tanks this, it ought to be him. Okay, one of them will be able to reach to tear the Prowler. Otherwise, it's just... Just the Necromancer. And actually, these units are all too slow. They're all too slow, except the actual Sentry Drones. And that means... That I should run across here with Igor. not use Malkishar to take this fight. That means I've only got Erethan, two Spectres. Probably the Spectres are the, the best damage dealers here. That was not the best damage dealing by anyone's standards, I fear. Okay, Erethan, you got the kill, but you also got poisoned. Malkesha should run down here. Oh crap! One of these guys can get through the hole to Ledinor. Why? Oh, you can move around that way, I see. Okay, um... Could move you to there. You're pretty good against drones, so let's try it. Now, I also don't want you coming around here. But equally, I need to kill this Hell Guardian, so. Just gonna run straight in with Galas. And here to just do the drainy thing. Alright, sugar, 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 see what happens now. Okay, the yellow spread out. Okay, four turns left and another drone just respawned. Can Melkashar get to the gate? He can, just. So, let's just take out this guy first, if we can. And now, Malkashar has free reign. Time for us to leave! What exactly do you intend to accomplish with this, Alinea? Could you at least tell me what your plan is for once? Oh, you mean that as if you never did anything of the sort before? We have no waste time. We have no time to waste here. I will explain later. <laughs> the scenario doesn't just end. Oh no, can't be as simple as that. Oh lord no. So, we still have to get out of here with Galas Ilinia or Malkeshar. And everyone's looking pretty beat up at this point. So, I'm going to save the game again. see if I can pull this off. 
first step, get rid of this guy. Get rid of, I said. Oh dear. Am I going to have to use a linear for this? Okay, let it all run. You folks are slow. You run. Might be that this is the time for Areri to uh, nobly die defending defending our exit. Okay, one of them can reach round. I mean, I could try and kill all these guys, but that's a lot of them. I'm just hoping they're going to be slow enough that they won't catch up with the bulk of my forces. I'm going to come down here and just block. Alright, there is an exit heading in this direction, I guess. Well, I mean, there bloody better be. Are there going to be bats down here too? That's the question. I guess if Galas stays here, he can find out. But I want to move him one forward. If bats want to come out and attack Melkeshar, then they're more than welcome to try. Yeah! Oh yeah! Pity you can't get into a good defensive position now. Um, maybe if I can just hurry everyone down here. I want to get someone who can really scout. So okay, you're heading in the right direction. Ledinor, you can go there. Everyone else here is pretty slow. You guys all just run. What can you see? Is there an exit in sight? There are ants, giant ants. Well, okay. Come at me, bros. Now, Areri the Necromancer, I feel like you have a better chance of surviving if you just sit where you are. As an elemental, can you get... Can you get turned into... No, you can't get plagued. Dang! <laughs> that would have been funny. Still. Okay. You may need to give your life nobly for the cause. You may need to get some more health so you can stay where you are. Same with you, actually, Malkishar. Um, I think ants is something that Gallus can deal with on his own. Good defense. serpent up there. So let's get Gallus onto this spot. So, will you explain your plan now? I... I'm not completely sure yet if it is possible, 
But even without Argan's assistance, I may be able to summon the Union again somehow, if we can concentrate for a few minutes. We? I don't think I can. Not you. Malin and me. Wait, what? Alright, the fire elemental is toast. Our area is still alive, though could easily die next turn. I guess I should just go for it, really. Ah, then we can see a way through for spectres. So, that is your plan, Lady of Light. I see. Interesting change of music there. Is there going to be something interesting down here? Okay, well there is a drone. That hopefully will be nothing other than an annoyance to me. And I'm hoping it's going to come up this way rather than coming around and attacking Galas, because if Galas can just run past all of this, that will be beautiful. I suspect that's overly optimistic, and I suspect Areri the Necromancer is dead. Not yet. Oh, here comes the drone. Doing the old Malkashar suicide run. Ah, oh, there's another drone. Now, I remember he's still alive, but this is just not, yeah, not sustainable. There's a spider! It's a giant spider at the bottom of the map. Oh, brilliant. Those guys are nasty. Alright. Can't move there. So I could bring Gallus, I could bring Igor. Dang, that was useless. Okay. So Gallus, then you just you just stay where you are and wait for some spectres to come and help you out. take the hit from you, and meanwhile Alinea get round the back, while Keshar keep going. On you over here as well. And you... Uh, down or along or around or where? I think the fighting's up here, so I should probably be up here. Okay, Mr. Speedy over here is coming. But not that fast, he's no faster than the rest of my units. Should I go for it? Should I go for it? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I shouldn't have gone for it. Oh dear. 
can't, and it's so close. I'm so close to being able to keep Eraria alive. Just not, not quite close enough. If you could get a plague hit now, it's not. Nothing is going to be enough. Nothing I do here is going to be enough. So you should just stay where you are and wait for the inevitable. I do not want Igor to get killed, so I can do something about that at least. That was good. drone back there. Oh god, so many drones. Still don't want to get attacked by a sea serpent. You're getting dangerously close now. Shall I hop you backwards? Yeah, okay, so the drone can't get you anymore. Should I try and go out with a blaze of glory, take this Zephyr with me? Well, I'm just going to stall them for a bit longer. Ah. Oh, that was a good run. Okay, I can't get away from this guy, he is too fast. What was that? Bada boom. Kill. Yeah, there's a kill, and Blady has now got another after maximum level advancement. That is just beautiful. Forget what's back there, you just run. Okay, the spider is down. Uh, you're just a grunt. You can't actually kill Ledinor. But you guys all stick together as the rear guard. Is there anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Nothing interesting anyway. 
Uh, no. All right. Right, so the scenario ought to end when I move Galas south. So, what I ought to try and do is get the kill with Ledinor. Good stuff. Alright. As everyone moves in, get a spectre over here to kill this. Oh, sugar! Didn't mean to do that. And I can't undo it because I saw slightly more because of that. Okay, doesn't seem to be anything interesting here. Galas, you go south. And there, the scenario ends. Well, two losses, um, my troll soulless and sadly and tragically my necromancer, but I think in the long run that was fairly inevitable, I was not going to be able to keep that necromancer alive, he was just too slow, five movement is not enough, um, I really, you know, only, only a quick person is going to be useful in these later scenarios. So there we are, face of the enemy, scenario complete. Thank you very much for watching. You have been listening to Cyber Neuro Druid. Please like, comment, and subscribe.